Park Industries Web Video Fusion Miter Cuts Part 1 The objectives of this course are to understand the difference between an overcut and an undercut and how to figure miter angles. To start, I've drawn a countertop. I have labeled everything. I have three wall edges and then I have three edges that require an apron so that we can have an understanding of what aprons would look like, I'm going to take and draw them in a vertical view. I'm going to use offset and I'm going to put in the material thickness as my distance, 1.181, which is the equivalent to 3cm. After I've offset, I'm going to come back and I'm going to fill it with a zero radius, the corners in. So that will allow me to draw a line from the end of to the end of and another line from the end of to the end of and that gives me a visual of what my apron should look like. Next I'm going to use Park Industries boundary command to complete the edge view of our mitered aprons. I'm going to click on each one as a contour and when I have them all three selected I'm going to say no to be able to take and drag those off to the side, I will no longer need the lines that I've started with to create that view. Now I'm going to use Park Industries create an apron command. I'll put in the height of the apron that I want and my mitered angle will be for the apron against the counter itself. It tells me to select an edge to apron I'm going to say that this edge needs an apron, this edge needs an apron, and this edge needs an apron. When I'm all done, like all other commands, I'll escape to finish. Now for our visual purposes, I'm going to take and I'm going to move my physical aprons to our visual aids. Move that part to there, and I'll move this one up to this part, the end of and this apron, I'll move this end up to that end of. Next thing I'll do is I'll take and I'll rotate them all and I'll move them. So I'm gonna rotate this middle piece here. I'll just grab it in the middle somewhere and I'll rotate it by 45 degrees. And this will give us a visual of whether we need overcut or undercut miters. We'll zoom in and we'll focus on our actual aprons. Might even move them around a little bit so we can get a better view. Move this one up close to that one. I'll move this one up close to this one so we can zoom in and focus on them a little bit better. What we want to see next is whether we need an undercut or an overcut. This part we can see that the blade will go under the edge of the stone. So therefore this would be an undercut. The same is true for this part. The blade would go under the stone. This part, the blade would go over the end of the stone. So this would be an overcut. The same is true with this part. I'm gonna use the visual aids that we've drawn to show how to decide what angle we're gonna need. I'm going to do that by going to my CAD and I'm going to choose my dimension and the dimension type I'll need will be an angle. What angle do we need for our miter cuts on the edges? I'll say OK and I'm going to ask for the angle between our visual and the actual edge of our apron. That will need to be a 22 and a half degree angle. This as well this overcut will also need to be a 22 and a half and this overcut as well. So all my angles in this case will need to be 22 and a half degrees. Now that we have our parts all laid out, we will have to apply cuts to them, lay them out on the table to make the program, which we will cover in our web video, Fusion Miter Cuts Part 2. Thank you for choosing Park Industries.